Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador based in Helsinki, Finland. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the Viltrox EF-M2 adapter that mounts your EF lenses onto a Micro Four Thirds camera body. It's such a gorgeous day here today in Helsinki, Finland. 27 degrees and the summer is finally here. And before I continue, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell icon down there so you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. And I post a new video every Tuesday and every Friday. I just got this adapter, so I haven't been playing around with it too much yet. So this is going to be my first impressions. But I will make another video where I'll find out the autofocus performance and the optical qualities of this adapter. This is so-called speed booster type of adapter. The focus, uh, uh, focal length multiplier is 0.71 and there are lens elements inside the adapter and uh, it will also add one stop of light to your EF lens. For example, this uh, Tamron 35mm f1.8, this becomes roughly 49mm f1.8 three if I count it correctly. And the lenses I'm going to be using with this adapter are this Tamron 35mm f1.8, Tamron 85mm 1.8 and I also try to get the Sigma 18 to 35mm f1.8 because I know the Sigma zoom that 18 to 35 plus one of these speed booster type of adapters that's very very uh, like a common uh, combination especially for video shooters but I'm gonna be finding out more about the, uh, the stills uh, side of this adapter and I'm only concentrating pretty much for uh, photography with this uh, like review I have never before used any of these speed booster type of adapters mainly because I think that adding lens elements between the lens and the camera body is not a very good idea I believe I strongly believe that a native lens is always the best solution and there are so many native choices for micro four thirds cameras that I just haven't seen any sense in putting there uh, another uh, adapter here and uh, using full frame Canon lenses on my Micro Four Thirds camera body. The mechanical construction of this adapter is actually pretty decent, especially considering the price point. Um, it's all metal and uh, the fittings are tight and when I mount the lens there is just like a tiny bit of uh, free play here but nothing excessive so it looks like uh, in that sense or in that regard it looks like a quality piece of uh, uh, equipment also the aperture uh, seems to be working just fine when I uh, rotate the command dial on my camera body and there's also a tiny like lever here that I can use to adjust the ap aperture one stop at a time uh, or one stop steps but after I touch the lever I can't use my camera's uh, dial anymore the aperture stops functioning I have to turn the power off and back on again and now I can adjust the aperture again using my camera's um, dial so that's a bit funny also, I'm not uh, quite convinced uh, about the, the autofocus performance or, or the, the performance generally with this, at least with this Tamron lens. When I take a picture, um, after a while, after a couple of seconds after I take the picture, the focus goes from uh, near to far and back really quickly. Let me show you. I'll take a picture and uh, you can see that the focus uh, goes back and forth from uh, 20 centimeters to infinity and back. Every time I take a picture, it, it does that. 
maybe I should check if there is a, a like a new firmware or something for the adapter and maybe that can rectify this uh, bug uh, so uh, at least with this Tamron I'm my first impressions are not uh, like um, very enthusiastic and it's the same thing with this 85 millimeter f1.8 Tamron lens when I take a picture the focus goes back and forth right after like, like a couple of seconds after I uh, press the shutter but I also see a little bit a li but I also see a little bit of but I also see a bit of uh, wobbling in the viewfinder image right after I uh, press the shutter it's like the image stabilizer is somehow not stable for a just a second or two after I hit the shutter so I think I really need to go back to my office and check that firmware update and see if that uh, corrects this uh, box because as it is right now with this there are ants here by the way uh, with this um, with these two Tamron lenses um, it's pretty much unusable this adapter it's just uh, so far away from usable with this type of autofocus behavior and uh, the optic uh, the image stabilizer behavior and everything but it's not all bad i mean my first impressions of the operational side of this adapter are not really that good but the balance of the lens uh, adapter and the lumix g9 camera body is really really nice both uh, the 35 and the 85 millimeter f1.8 Tamrons uh, are like made for this camera body and of course it's because the G9 is relatively large for a micro four thirds camera but still I will, I'm surprised and impressed how well this balances and handles so I guess I have to go back to my office and check out the possible firmware update for this adapter because if this adapter was working properly with these two lenses they would be really nice uh, and usable combination with uh, with the Lumix G9 okay I came back to my office and um, what do you know there is a firmware update and a fairly recent one too and I ran the update and <clears throat> now the adapter seems to be working as it should uh, this is my bad. I really apologize that I should have checked the firmware even before I took the very first picture with this adapter. But let's look at the bright side. This only shows how important it is always to use the latest firmware, whether it's your lens, camera, adapter or some other piece of equipment that has a firmware inside. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that this adapter is the first original version. Now there is already a Mark II version out there, but uh, it only has some mechanical improvements. I think the connectors are different or something, but optically uh, this is the same as Mark II and also the same firmware works on both models. So performance wise, this should be the same as the Mark II. This adapter is not mine. Um, it was sent to me by a Finnish subscriber, Mikael, who happened to have one of these lying around unused and boxed and he asked me if I'd like to test it. Uh, thanks Mikael, that was very very kind and of course I will return this to Mikael after I'm done with my testing. Also these lenses, these Tamrons, they are not mine. The 35 is on loan from a fellow photographer, Philip Smets. I'll put a link to his Instagram down in the, uh, in the description so you can have a look if you're interested. Thanks uh, Philip for the lens and uh, the 85mm the lens is from Focus Nordic. They represent uh, Tamron here in Finland and I uh, also want to thank Focus Nordic for letting me use this lens. And now it's still um, the gorgeous day outside, so I think now that the adapter is working, I'm gonna um, grab the lenses and the adapter and my camera and go back outside and make some real test shots now. And I, I might even grab some of my Micro Four Thirds lenses with me and make uh, some comparisons. I'll get back to those results in, in another video very soon. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now and have fun, enjoy the summer and see you next time.